Is that your coloring book? Tea is for? Tea is for? Turtle. Turtle. You is for? Unicorn. Unicorn. So and Anthony's grandparents like days. to... Yeah? And then... And then... And then... And this... And this... Is an umbrella. Is an umbrella. So Anthony's grandparents like to um, refinish old furniture. Yeah, V is for violin. W is for what? W is for wolf. So they found this old school desk and refinished it, repainted it, stained it, and they brought it for Grayson. And Grayson loves it. They just brought it yesterday and they brought this little coloring book and a bunch of crayons, which they're like all over the floor. Um, but he really likes it and the only problem with it is it's huge and we really don't have anywhere to put it I might like clear out like over here or over there and put it like in the corner X is for X-ray Y is for Yuck Yuck This would be awesome if I was like gonna homeschool him, but I'm not doing that because that's a lot of work Z is for zebra, and I'm actually excited for him to like go to school next year and stuff. Colors. Yeah, coloring book, but it's really Cat cute. And book. Yeah, coloring book, and he loves it. They also brought a bunch of stickers. They're like all yeah. over the floor here, and he's been having fun with the stickers. Yeah. The end. I need to go and like get him a sticker book because I think he would really enjoy that. He's really getting into that nowadays. Um, but our <laughs> playroom is always a mess, so just ignore all the toys on the floor. But yeah, Anthony's parents and grandparents came to visit yesterday, which was super fun. I didn't vlog anything because that was kind of weird. We just watched football all day, and now it's Sunday, and we're just hanging out. Gray's playing with his desk. It's really cool. It opens, and he can, like, store stuff inside. So that's pretty cool. Then over here we have Porter. He's sleeping. What else is new? Paw Patrol. Patrol. Oh, careful, careful. Here's a little Porter. He's asleep. What else is new? <laughs> Um, my mom ordered these puzzles for Grayson, and he's been loving them. There's an ABC puzzle, a number puzzle, and a shapes puzzle. She just got these off Amazon. And I've never seen a number puzzle that goes through 20. I've only seen them go 1 through 10. So that was pretty cool and different. Um, she got him these puzzles because... Like a year ago around Christmas time, she got him this puzzle at like the dollar section of Target, but we lost the B and we cannot find it anywhere. And Greg gets so mad when he can't find it. So I'm probably just gonna pitch that puzzle because now we have a new ABC puzzle. And he seems to like these a lot better. It just makes a huge mess when he dumps them all, which he does a lot. <laughs> I just wanted to give a quick update. Um, tomorrow, Porter will be three weeks old, which means I will be three weeks postpartum. So I just want to give an update. I am doing awesome. Um, my bleeding has basically stopped, except for like here and there, I might get like a little bit of spotting here and there, but other than that, like it's gone. Um, I have like no pain down there. I only really, really had to use um, like witch hazel and tux pads and things like that for maybe a week or so and then I really didn't need it anymore. Um, I've been not very emotional. Here and there I'll get sad at night um, just for a little bit but I've not like cried at all. Um, when I had Grayson I cried like every night. It was like daily crying. This time I haven't cried at all. Um, I haven't been feeling sad. I mean I have been feeling sad a little bit, but it's mostly because Anthony's going to start working weekends and it's basically like every weekend for like half a year. And so that makes me sad just because it's coming up on the holiday season. We usually do a lot of things on the weekends, so that's why I'm sad. So I feel like I have a reason to be sad. Last time with Grayson, I was just sad for no reason. Like people would come visit and then they would leave and I would cry because <laughs> I was sad that they were leaving. 
like just randomness so this time i've been doing a lot better um i don't know if it's just like how they say every pregnancy is different or just like as you get like the more times you're pregnant the easier it is to recover i'm not quite sure but i have been feeling great the only thing that was worse this time compared to last time was for about a week every time i would nurse Porter, which I'm still breastfeeding him, but every time I would nurse him, I would get like really strong cramps, which was just like my uterus, um, like shrinking back down. But when I had Grayson and I would nurse him in the beginning, I really didn't have a lot of pain, but they say with every subsequent pregnancy, those cramps get a lot more strong when you nurse for like a week or so, and then they just go away. So I don't have those anymore, but I did have them in the beginning and they were painful they were almost as painful as contractions i felt like so i'm glad that's over um i have had some um problems with like just nipple cracks and bleeding and things like that but now that we're three weeks into nursing and breastfeeding um my nipples have hardened and so i don't really have any pain when i'm nursing porter sometimes he'll cluster feed and so that will like kind of make him a little sore but other than that he really hasn't been too bad i have been putting lanolin cream on my nipples every so often and that does seem to help i did that last time with grayson as well um, something new I've been doing this time is I have been using, um, a haka, which I didn't even know what that was until this pregnancy. I don't know how long it's been around for, but I will show you what it looks like. Okay, so this is my haka. Um, it's just a silicone manual pump, and it's really just to catch the letdown of when you're nursing it's not meant to like pump or anything like that and basically what you do is you just um you squeeze it you attach it to whichever breast you're not feeding baby on and then it will suction cup to your breast and then it will catch the letdown a lot of moms on like my pregnancy apps were raving about it so i thought i would give it a try i think it was like 20 bucks or something on amazon so I've been trying it and I actually really like it. I didn't realize how much milk my letdown makes every time I feed Porter and it actually is a lot. And so I will use that, catch the letdown and then I just put it in a um, breast bag and then I keep it in the fridge and then I just keep adding to it over the day. And usually by the end of the day, I have like a full, um, a full milk bag. So it's actually been really awesome. I have yet to actually like, no, that's not true. I've pumped maybe once because like my um, breasts were very engorged in the beginning and so I needed to let some of it out. But other than that, I've really just been using the Haka and I've been starting to build up a supply of milk bags. I just want that so that if I ever wanna go out for longer than like an hour or if Anthony and I wanna go on a date night or something and we have a babysitter, that way I can have milk here in case porter does get hungry and i'm not here he has not um drank from a bottle yet but i didn't have any problems with grayson so i'm hoping porter will be the same he's a pretty good eater so i think he would be all right but yeah i just want to tell you guys about that haka i actually really like it it's super easy super easy to clean um yeah it's been really nice so anyway for my um third week postpartum i'm doing really really well um, my stomach, my belly button has gone back down. I haven't weighed myself lately, so I should just to see like how I'm doing. Um, but yeah, I've been feeling awesome and we're just adjusting to being a family of four instead of a family of three. I think it's a big adjustment with Grayson, <laughs> just not getting all the attention. And now that Anthony's back at work, he doesn't have his attention. So it's just a process, but we're getting there. <laughs>